Mr. Lloyd, you testified earlier that when Mr. Manning and Mr. Rosen had you tried to obtain Marty Saybrook's bra from her as part of your fraternity initiation, you felt sleazy. And you also testified that you had to go along with their requests because of their status in the fraternity. Yes, they were brothers. Thank and, you, uh, that's I... fine. You've answered the question. Have there been some other times when Mr. Manning and Mr. Rosen asked you to engage in activities which made you feel sleazy? No, not that I can remember. Didn't you feel sleazy when Mr. Manning ordered you to get Marty Sabrick to come to the spring fling? No. I mean, he didn't order me to get her. And no, I didn't feel sleazy. And didn't you feel sleazy when you and Mr. Manning and Mr. Rosen pushed your way into Mr. Buchanan's room and forced your attentions on Marty Saybrook? And didn't you feel sleazy when the three of you menaced her, tossing her around like a football as she told this court? It, it didn't happen that way. She, she wanted us there. She invited us into Kevin's room. Really? When exactly did she invite you? What do you, what do you mean? Well, your previous testimony, you said that the three of you found her in the room. No, I meant she invited us. Oh, really? So, you were confused before. You found her or she invited you in. Which is it? The first. The first. The three of you entered Mr. Buchanan's room uninvited and found Miss Saybrook passed out on the bed. No, that, that's not what I meant. She asked us in. She invited us into the room. Despite the fact that she was passed out? All right. The witness has answered this question. Stop badgering him. I'll move on. Mr. Lord, Miss Saybrook testified that you locked the door, making her a prisoner in the room which you claim she willingly invited you. The only reason we locked the door is because she told us to. We? Uh, me. I locked the door, but she, she asked me to. Excuse me. Miss Saybrook's testimony is that Todd Manning told Zach Rosen to lock the door, and she begged him not to do it. And he answered that he wouldn't if she didn't want him to. And then he turned to you and he ordered you to lock the door, which you did. No. You didn't lock it? Okay, I locked it, but it's not true that she didn't want me to. Did you or did you not lock the door that night in Kevin Buchanan's room against Miss Saybrook's wishes? No. Didn't you? You, Powell Lord III, locked the door in Kevin Buchanan's room even though Miss Saybrook expressly asked you not to do it. What was the matter with you? Object. You have no objections to offer at this time? Yes, Your Honor, I object. The prosecution is badgering the witness. He said several times that Miss Saybrook asked him to lock the door. Sustained. Sorry, Your Honor. Let's go back to your feelings about your co-defendants and the night of the rape. Hmm? Uh, excuse me. The incident. What do you mean, my, my feelings? Well, let's start with Todd Manning. Did you like Todd? We're friends, yeah. Would you say you respected him? Yeah, I guess. And did you, in turn, wish for him to respect you? Yeah, I, I guess I did. So is it fair to say that you wanted to prove yourself to him? Uh, how, how do you mean? Well, you know, that you wanted to show him that you were one of the guys worthy of his 
Esteem? Yes. So much so that you didn't object and, in fact, participated when Mr. Manning and Mr. Rosen initiated the rape of Marty Saybrook? No. Oh, you mean you had some other reason to go along with your friends when no. they raped Marty? No, I, I did not. Then you had no reason at all to do what you did to her? No, I, I didn't. I... None of us... We didn't rape her. You knew that Todd Manning had a history of forcing himself on other women, didn't you, Mr. I, Lloyd? I didn't know anything about that. Is defense counsel in this courtroom? Miss Gannon! Your Honor, this testimony is inadmissible. Approach the bench. to Mr. Manning's testimony, he and Mr. Rosen and you all had consensual sex with Ms. Saybrook at her enthusiastic invitation. Do you agree with that statement? Yes, that's what I've been saying all along. And how did that make you feel? Like I said to Ms. Gannon, Didn't when that I... make you feel sleazy to... Ob objection, Your Honor. Let the witness answer. Sustained. Like I said, when we all did that, I didn't think it was something that would become a matter of public record. Oh, yes. I recall your testimony to that effect. But that's hindsight, Mr. Lord. At the time, didn't you feel more than just sleazy? Didn't you feel sick with guilt? Because Miss Saybrook did not invite the three of you to have sex with her. In fact, you forced yourselves on her. One, then another, and then another. No. Your Honor, I just have one last question for the witness. Mr. Lord. How do you sleep at night? I would throw out the question. The prosecution is through with this witness. Miss Gannon, redirect. There you are. You may step down. Defense may call its next witness. The defense rests. recess before closing arguments. What the hell are you doing? You're calling any more witnesses? I don't feel we need to. Our case is strong. I think you'll win. Yeah, right. If your zombie actors didn't blow our chances, you better get up and sell it during the closing statements. Don't screw up like you did this morning. 